Hello everyone. I would like to welcome you all in my class of CIS 2168 Data Driven Design. This is part 2 of Temporal Analysis. I am Dr. Harimhan Pandey from the Department of Computer Science and my email ID is given here. We'll start this session by taking a quick look on what we did in part number one of temporal analysis. In part number one, we covered basics of temporal analysis. Then we discussed three questions which were related to three variable time, day and data to perform temporal analysis. The agenda of this session is given here. So in this session, we are going to learn what is data frame and how data frame can be used to perform temporal analysis. Basically data frame will give us data set and this data set we can use to create different plots, to analyze, to visualize the data and to analyze the data. We'll use Python programming code for creating and implementing the data frame. In the next slide, I have given the basics of data frame. A data frame is a table like structure or a two dimensional array like structure in which each column contains values. So here you can see we have four columns C1, C2, C3 and C4. So each column contains a value for a variable. So we have four variables. One is page, second is month, third is day and fourth is time. And each column, so we have four columns, four rows here and each row contains one set of values from the column. So suppose this is column for page and it has values P1, month column contains value M1, day column has value D1 and time column has value T1. So what is this row? This row can be written as in the form of set of values which will contain value from each column P1, M1, D1 and T1. Whereas if you are talking about the individual column, then P2, I'm saying this is P3, if this is P4, then C1, column C1 will contain set of values related to that particular column that is P1, P2, P3 and P4. Similarly for rest of the column. A data frame is used for storing the data in the table. So we, we can see that here we are uh, using uh, data values and we are storing it in the data frame. Uh, it is a uh, data frame is also uh, referred as list of vector of um, equal length. In part number one, if you remember, we discussed that uh, for performing temporal analysis, we need, we need to have data related to number one is time, number two is day and number three is data. This was question number one, question number two, question number three and we discussed these three questions in part one of temporal analysis. In the next slide, I have presented what is data frame and how to create data frame using Python programming code. So this is Python programming code and it creates a data frame. So here we create a data dictionary, a data frame from the list of dictionaries data. So this is list of dictionary and it is empty in the beginning. What we are doing here in the second line, we have used open function to open this log file for reading purpose. And we are using loop to read the entries of the log file line by line. And then we are using a split to split the line into fields. 
If you remember when I explained the block diagram for log file analysis, in week number two, the first step was reading log file and the second step was split the entries in fields. So we are splitting the entries which is in the form of line in fields and then here we are creating a data dictionary. This is my data dictionary. And it has two values, page and time. And this pair of values, this is pair of values. And in order to create here, you can see a curly braces is used. If you want to create a data dictionary, you can say, suppose D is my data dictionary, then I will place the item in the curly bracket. So this will be the key. This will be the value. And uh, so, so. Uh, what we are doing, we are creating a data dictionary here using uh, the page field and time field and then using this data, we are assigning this data frame to df. So df is my data set now. This is my data set and we will use this data set for creating the plot to visualize the result or to analyze the results. In the next slide, I have presented a complete Python program to explain the concept of data frame and its creation and implementation in Python in an effective manner. So this is the Python program for data frame creation and for plot creation. In this example, you can see the second line is for importing apache underscore log underscore parser. So what we are doing, we are using a parser. I already explained the role of parser in the second lecture, second uh, week uh, lectures in the second week session. Uh, so parsing, why we are doing, why, why we are using parsing here? Because we want to break down log file data into a specific format and the data after breaking the data data will be small chunks of data and this is small chunks of data we are representing in a, a, in an specific in a specific format that is why we are importing the parser here. Uh, this program we will store, we will, we will add all these codes in a Python program and I have given the name to my Python program as temporal underscore analysis dot py. So this is the name of my Python file. This is my Python file. And all these codes will go, will be added in this program. And the goal of this program is to uh, look at the analysis of temporal aspects uh, of uh, the web log data. So here you can see we are using a log file. This is my log file. And for this log file, I want to see um, I want to perform um, temporal analysis. Analysis. So in order to perform temporal analysis for a given log file, what we, would have, we have to do, we'll start the program by import statement. And why we are doing this? Because we want to use uh, some functionalities which are present in these libraries and then in line number seven we have used the parser I already explained the reason of using the parser that is breaking down the log entry in the form of uh, a small uh, data chunk we will create and it will be in the form of field 
of a specific format. Then at line number nine, you can see in the previous program, we just used data. We just used data as a list variable, but here this is a uh, variable and it contains two values day and time and this is a form of a dictionary so this data is a dictionary why it is dictionary because it contains two values key and values key and values that is this and this so it has two array variable the first array variable is a, a day and the second array variable is time so Day will store the day of the month and time will store the time. Then in the next line, what we are doing? In the next line, we have uh, simply used uh, open function to open this log file for reading purpose. Then in line number 13, we are implementing a standard for loop to read the entries given in the log file line by line using a loop variable then then we are using a parser to split the line in the form of field and then these two lines that is line number 16 and 17 is very very important so what we are doing here uh, in the first uh, thing, the, the first thing with um, for, for line number 16 is it is a line variable. It, it contains a line variable which is shown here. You can see append line uh, and it creates um, a, a line dictionary. So this is what, what we are doing here. What we are doing here, we are creating a dictionary and the name of this dictionary is line dictionary. And here we are creating another dictionary for time so this is for the day time and this is for the day and here you can see we have used um, day time object for this day time object is used here and here day time object for um, hour and minutes so this is for the day of the month and this is hour and time for the day so in order to get the information related to day and uh, uh, time we can use day time object and then uh, all these value will get stored in a dictionary which is given here data data day dot append is creating a dictionary for day and in another one we are creating a dictionary at line number 17 we, cre we are creating another dictionary for time uh, now um, at the after this we have used a print statement to print the day so what will happen if you will run the program at this stage after writing print statement if you are executing your program here then what will happen you will start you, you will see uh, the day of the month. Uh, now, in order to start the plotting, what we'll do? We'll store this uh, this this um, uh, data this data in the form of table using data frame. So, what we are doing? We are we are converting our day in the form of data frame. This is what we are doing here and then we are using plot function to plot uh, the data and we will discuss plotting in next part. The summary of this session is in this session we completed data frame and we, we created a data frame using python programming code. In the next session we will discuss how to visualize the data using statistical plots. Thank you very much. Happy learning.